Billy was amazing today. You are so cute, so I can't help but work hard. You are much better than the last guy. I have more experience. What is this conversation? I got home earlier than I expected, and I was about to take a bath when I heard my husband in a young woman's voice. I peeked in through the crack and found Billy in the bathtub making out with a woman. Oh no! Stop it! I could hear her happy voice while I was speaking inside for a while. The woman changed her position and put her head on my husband's. And then I saw her face. At that moment, I gasped. Jo Jody. Yes. The woman with whom he was having an affair was Jody, a woman I knew. She was, she was Billy's niece. I'm a housewife who works in my spare time. Billy is a regular employee, a good husband at home, and a good worker. He has a good salary. I was living a good life, the envy of my friends. Then one day, things changed. My mother-in-law was injured, and became wheelchair bound. I would like my father-in-law to help my mother-in-law in such a case, but he's working, so it is difficult for him to visit my mother-in-law. That's why he asked me to take care of her. I had no choice. My husband's parents live in the suburb near the city, so we decided to stay with my mother-in-law for a while. Irene, yes, what is it? I saw you cleaning the window earlier, but you didn't do it well enough. You need to redo it, and you haven't finished washing the rugs on the porch. We need to get this stuff done quickly. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Billy's parents live in an old-fashioned house inherited from his great grandfather. It is such an old house that it is difficult to do housework. Even so. I'm trying my best to do it in my own way. My mother-in-law, however, is a terrible person. She takes advantage of the fact that she cannot move around in a wheelchair, and she orders me to do this and that. And she always complains and makes me redo things. She also asks us to do things that no one does nowadays. Still, she's Billy's mom, and I did my best to endure her bullying. But what's this? I found a small bruise on my husband Billy's neck one night. Are you okay? What happened? When I pointed it out, Billy looked a little surprised and made a gesture to cover the bruise. A bad thought crossed my mind for a moment, as if I've touched upon something I shouldn't have. I didn't expect you to be in a bad company, but you might be in a very abusive one. There are even companies that are making a big deal about it in the real media. Maybe you are being abused by your boss every day. Maybe you even get noticed having a bruise like this. Are you sure you are okay? Even though I worry about this and that, Billy just says, "It's not that kind of company. I'll be fine." Still, Billy is looking tired these days. He often falls asleep before I can even have a conversation with him. He says he's fine, but maybe he is having a hard time at work. Children who are bullied hide the fact that they are being bullied from their parents, and maybe Billy is being bullied at work. I was so worried that I asked my sister-in-law Hannah, whom I love very much, about it later. Hannah and I have always been close. People say that we don't get along with our husband's sister, or that they work with our mother-in-law to bully us for the rest of our lives. But this is not the case for us. Hannah is one of the reasons why I'm able to withstand my mother-in-law's attitude. She listens to me very carefully. Hannah seems to have told my mother-in-law not to push me too hard. We have a good relationship. Hannah works as a secretary in a company that has a business relationship with Billy's company, and so she told me that she has not heard any rumors. I see Billy at work sometimes, 
but it doesn't seem to be anything bad to worry about. I'm relieved that Billy is not being treated badly. But then, what was that thing this morning? He didn't have to hide it from me, his wife. But that day, Billy made a show of hiding it. I was still curious, so I looked at Billy's neck as he slept beside me. The bruise had faded. Hmm, I noticed something. I have a feeling about the way the bruise had been gotten rid of. No way. Then it makes sense for him to hide the bruise. I noticed that Billy has been tired lately, that he falls asleep without talking to me. There is no way that this man... I have been trying so hard to be a good wife to Billy, and he has been trying so hard to be a good husband to me. But this betrayal... I am trying to hold back the urge to wake Billy up from his sleep right now and ask him a question. If I ask him now, he will just dodge my question. Besides, I still wanted to believe him. Then one day, I took my mother-in-law to the hospital, only to find that she had not brought her insurance card. Didn't you say you would bring your insurance card? I didn't say that. That's funny. My mother-in-law did say that she would bring it with her. She went to the trouble of showing me her insurance card and put it in her bag, but it's not there. Try to look again. I can't take out what's not there, so go get it. She's always picking on me. There is no point in arguing here. I gave up, left my mother-in-law in the waiting room, and went home to get the insurance card. When I got home, I saw a pair of heels I didn't recognize on the porch. They must be Billy's niece's shoes. Hannah's daughter is a junior in college and comes to visit sometime. She and my husband Billy get along well. But when I walked in the front door, I looked on the table and saw the insurance card. I sighed. My mother-in-law had left it on the table, thinking she had put it in her bag. More specifically, she left it in there on purpose, pretending to put it in her bag to annoy me. I took the insurance card and hurried back to the hospital again. When I heard niece Jody's screaming voice, what? But her scream sounded happy, like she was being spoiled. What is she doing? Is she just flirting with her boyfriend while my mother-in-law's away? Why did she go all the way to my mother-in-law's house? Just as I was thinking that, I heard a man's voice. That man sounded happy. It was definitely Billy, my husband. What's the meaning of all this? Billy should be at work right now. I was curious, so I went to the direction of the voice. But the voice was coming from the bathroom. You are amazing today! You are so cute, so I can't help but work hard. You are so much better than the last guy. That's because he's not as experienced. What is this conversation? When I peeked in through the crack, Billy and his niece Jody were in the bath together. Jody has her face on Billy's shoulder. This is cheating. Billy is having an affair. I doubted him once about the bruise. But I still wanted to believe in Billy. But I was wrong. I have endured the severe bullying of his mother because she's Billy's parent. And now, I'm shaking with anger that Billy has betrayed me like this. Hey, I'm better than Irene, right? Of course. I don't need her anymore. What did you say? I want to go in there and yell at him right now. But I'm holding back. I'm gonna leave. But I will give them some more punishment. Watch me. I will double the payback. But I can't do it alone. I'm the wife. But I'm in a weak position. If I make a fuss alone, they will assume I'm making up a lie. Especially against my mother-in-law. Because after all, it's her son and granddaughter. Of course, she would protect her son and grandchildren. She's the type who always picks on her daughter-in-law as much as she needs to. 
She may take advantage of this to make me look bad and kick me out. I don't care if he divorces me because he cheated on me. But I can't stand to be made the bad guy and kicked out. I talk to Hana. Hana and I are good friends, and I can talk to her about many things. But Hana is technically on Billy's side. She might suddenly betray me. I was even going to threaten her that it was her daughter's problem too, but that turned out to be unnecessary. It was a needless worry, and she agreed to cooperate. Hana had noticed that something was wrong with her daughter Jody. I'm so sorry. I'm so embarrassed. I know you've been good to my mother. I wish I could tell her that. But she wants you to do it because you are her daughter-in-law. I'm sorry that my daughter cheated with my brother. And I'm sorry that they are both my relatives. I'm so sorry. I want to jump into the ocean. So you will help me? Of course. We'll teach them a lesson. Thank you. That would be great. On the day of my mother-in-law's hospital visit, I went home for some reason to drop her off. As I expected, Billy and Jody were in the bath as usual. They were talking in a sweet voice. Are you okay? The plan will work. I know it's a little embarrassing to have the insurance pay us to make it look like an accident, but we're gonna need the money. What about the lady? We'll work together to blame Irene for the accident and get rid of her. No one will know we were together, so we can fool them. Irene is so stupid that she won't be able to argue much and will run away, I'm sure. I can't wait to live with you. What kind of stupid plan is that? You're the ones who will be running away in a big hurry. I will hide their clothes. I've already rigged the bath. I was so busy with my chores that no one will believe I'd actually been preparing for revenge. Billy is carefree in the bath, indulging in his foolish fantasy without knowing that. It's double payback. The water is probably getting hotter and hotter. I relentlessly increase the temperature. The water is getting hot in my bathtub. Maybe it's a little too hot. I will turn out the cold water. Huh? There's no cold water. Is someone... Whoever took it out? No, it's too hot. That's when it happened. Boom, boom, boom. A loud popping sound came from somewhere. Uh, what? It's hot. There's a scream. And then... The sound of splashing and hitting something, screaming. Billy came running out, his body reddening. Then, Jody came out after him. Mom? What are you doing? You're a disgrace. Billy, I'm divorcing you. I showed them what I recorded on my phone. I made sure to record the two of them talking about their stupid plan in the bath. No, you are wrong. There's a reason for this. You're saying there's a reason? It's because he forced me to. Forced is a bad word. You're the one who asked me out. What do you mean? You're the one who asked me out. You're saying it's my fault? You're an adult. You're over 20 years old. Will you stop it? Everyone there was shocked and looked in the direction of the boys. There was my mother-in-law. Why is my mother-in-law here? I know I had left her at the hospital, but there was something more surprising. My mother-in-law was standing. She's supposed to be in a wheelchair because she couldn't stand due to her leg injury. Billy, Jody, stop it. I knew from the beginning you guys were shady. That's when I made a plan. I lied about being hurt, Billy, and I let you stay. Huh? And then you just came right out with your tail between your legs. Pathetic. A dog in heat. Damn it. Billy lowered his head. 
I took pictures of all the evidence when you two were sneaking around. I can take pictures with my phone too, you know. So there's no way you can say it's just this one time. Jody lost her strength and slumped down on the spot. Later, when all the commotion had died down and she had regained her posture, my mother-in-law spoke to me. This is where I learned the truth. I'm sorry for having acting this way and that to you. It was an attempt to distract you. Please forgive me. My mother-in-law's parents had divorced, and the reason was her father's unfaithfulness. So she raised her son not to cheat like her father, but still he cheated with his niece. My appearance when he was cheating on me was so painful for her that she kept me busy by being mean to me so that I would not notice Billy's affair. But Irene, you are not the weak woman I thought you were. You took it into your own hands to punish them. You even got Hannah involved, so I decided to join you. So you did. My mother-in-law grinned. Billy jumped out of his skin at the sound, huh? Sound? Was that you? That's right. I was the one banging the pots and pans in the kitchen. Bam, bam! She laughed out loud. I laughed too, thinking of Billy's panic. My father-in-law heard about Billy's affair. Cheating alone is a mortal sin, but to have her niece as a partner is even more outrageous. Billy was disowned without excuse. Jody was scolded severely by her mother's family, expelled from college and was grounded. Both of them are too embarrassed to talk to anyone because of what happened to them. I divorced Billy and went to the city to work. I was able to go back to the company I worked for before we got married. I still keep in touch with my mother-in-law and Hannah. My mother-in-law, Hannah, and I share an unspoken secret of my husband having an affair with his niece. People get along better when they have secret to share. And the three of us have become good friends through all the turmoil.